that <laughs> person. <laughs> Firstly, before I, I discuss what's happening in this project, is that um, I would love to thank everybody who has supported me, who has shared, who has like, who has commented. Guys, it means a lot to me because when I go in my YouTube studio and check my analytics, I check my, you know, my views. I check, guys, guys, guys. I know we are not yet by fifty thousand k views. We are not yet, but I trust that we are going to get there, guys. And um, I really appreciate everybody who has supported me, who has encouraged me who has motivated me with their words with their comments guys it means a lot and um i just want to say guys um there was a comment that uh one of my subscribers shared said that i'm taking time to post um to post videos you know two days is a lot is a long time it's a, it's a long time you know so um guys i'm going to make my, my effort so that i post every day but before i post every day guys you need to like watch till the end at least watch if the video is 10 minutes watch five minutes ha watch halfway at least guys halfway because when you watch halfway you know my analytics my watch hours increase and that motivates me to say like okay this video had an impact but if you don't watch even halfway that does not motivate so now let's get into this video so i was making this tutorial right and my my webcam this webcam yeah this webcam yeah yeah it was not functioning i thought that it was functioning but yeah you know you know you know yeah it was not functioning so i'm going to break down this tutorial i'm going to show you what i did and what i did you know everything i'm not going to show the drum because the drum is the easiest thing i gave a tutorial now to make the drum this is the drum that's the drum i made it's very simple ne? But what I want to focus on is the melodies, is the pet. Because one of my subscribers was complaining. I was like, I don't, what about us who don't have purity? What sound can we use? So I came up with a sound that you can use. So I went here. I went here. Let me put these ones off. So I went here and I got the pet that you need to use, right? So this is the pet. Analog strings. So you come to you come to pad and then you come analog string this is the pad all right then what else what else what i did now i also went to purity and get this plugin because i'm saying guys you need to get purity whatever deal you are using if you are using cube base you are using alberton live whatever you are using guys i will do research for you on how to install purity for you I know how to download purity if you don't have it ask me i'll give you a link and you can download it there ne? you can download it there and i'll and now and then we can search for you how to how to how to install it then the second thing i added this purity right and then i went to terminal signal because this was the pad that was normally used back then i feel like it's unfair for us to not use it anymore because you know it's a very good pad and this is what i came up with I was in A minor. I used the A minor scale. So what I did, right? Because I had the A minor scale, you see here. In this, in this pad, yeah, Morphin. I used A minor down here, and then I put these two notes. You know, I love my pad to have a three, a trihead. A trihead is a three notes. I like it to have a trihead or to have two notes because it makes the pad sound nice and it looks like it's it's heavy. You know, heavy and sweet. So that's what you should do, guys. Always make sure when you're creating your pad have to i never i never leave i never leave my pet like this one no don't do that don't do that it's not it's not even it's it's it, it to sound good but it does not have backup you know you need to have backup so that's what i do there and then what i did i came to this one now i didn't put the a minor down here as you can see these notes are still the same i just removed the a and then i put this note up there you understand then the next thing i'm going to show you now it was the base so i came up with this base uh what i did here I, I when i was explaining i said for example okay let's put let's go in and put everything on what i said is like while the drums and and the pads are playing think of the bass in your head and play it out like you know think of the bass like that because once you are, you are, you are vibing to it already you can figure out where it needs to go. So I came up with this bass.
yeah, yeah, let's not, yeah, yeah, and let's not. You see, it already sounds good because I, I, when I was making this bass, I was vibing and you know, doing boop boop, doing those things, guys. It really helps out. And then, what I went to do is, I went to Purity again and I got a cheap lead. I think it's a cheap lead, and then I came up with the melody. Melodies are easy to make, guys. I've been explaining this. You see, from the pad that I used, this is the pad. Remember, I created the pad. I said A minor. Remember, I did this. This was the pad I used. Now I broke it down. That's what I'm saying. Always, you see, now when I broke it down, eh, I said A one two, because it's the same thing I have here. You see, you see, it sounds good. I could even do this. It's also gonna sound good. We are going to try it in a minute. But here, what I made first. Yeah, you can see that this thing sounds good, né? but it's missing some stuff. It's missing some source. So what you could do now, right? If you don't have, if you don't have this black in retro color, it's fine, guys. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's fine. I'm going to show you another way what you can do. You are going to come here and then you are going to say, um, is it Kandra? Yeah, Kandra. And then you are going to reduce here. You see, and then what you do now, because I'm trying to create the same effect as retro color, I'm going to use chorus. And then, see? sounds good already. You know, it's sounding good. And then what I did next, right, is that I came to this uh, nexus, and I said, guys, it's not a must to have this plugin that I have. You could use any other plugin. In a previous, when I was making this video, I did make examples with other plugins, but because it did not record i'm going to say it again you can go to citrus whatever plugin you have the main key ne? the main key what you need to know is that you need to know how to use an eq this thing called eq this this is an eq ne? and if it's giving you too much highs this is the high you see here by the tribe here mid high and these things you need to know them ne? once you know them you are going to cut it off like this you understand you cut it off like this and if the low is high, you cut it off like this then you are just left with these parts which only sounds good you understand okay now let's continue with this tutorial it doesn't matter if you are using cube base just use uh, just use the eq it's going to show you the same thing then what i did is i came to nexus and this is what i used i used a broken sewer i have not used this preset in a while but i came back to it because it made sense here listen <laughs> So you can see again look guys i'm using the same notes i used previously when i was making the pad you see what my you see like literally i'm using the same notes here these are the notes for my pad and now i'm just breaking them down again you see that's what lady do producer does when they make for her like the melodies are, are simple they are not even complex they're not hard it's just like to vibe and this is what i'm doing All right, so that's what I did there, and then I came back again. I went to Nexus again, and I used my favorite sound, whistling signs, whatever. I used that one, <laughs> and what I did with it, now, let's just go into it. What I did with it is like I did the same thing, but I uh, at this time I didn't put A. I used E and F only. Now listen. <laughs> So when you're making when you're using this sound what you need to be cautious of is that you can put it anywhere and it will sound good right it will sound good then uh what i did next now is this this is the plugin that everybody loves everybody loves this plugin eco drops it's i mean this preset but it's been out people are no more using it that much because like there's new things out there there's um there's hive this you know there's a there's two two bases all kinds of sounds but that's one for me is one of the best and i'll show you what i did with it so what i did is that i dropped it normal this is how it sounds okay it's not sounding good yet let's go in here this is how it sounds né? but what i did is like this you're getting me now you see what i did there né? So what I did is that I used the same notes now, but now I just add some few notes here. But I'm just saying, ta, ta, ta. That's what I did. 
right nothing complicated guys i know you can do it it's easy it's easy and um guys if you make a bid please send me my email i'm going to drop my email now nah, guys i'm going to drop my email for this video i want to hear your bits i want to hear if you guys are improving what what you need help with i need to hear so that i can make a tutorial on what you don't understand guys please please don't don't, don't be greedy let me help you so the next thing what i did is i got um that's what i was done now right then i went for the snare the first snare that i went to get was this snare let me play the snare this is what I, this is what this is the snare that i want to get first after i got that snare you know how i do it with those snares there is the snare this is the snare so what i did is just ah, ah. then i keep quiet again ah, ah. you know then i came back with this snare case for snare then this one it's the one that's doing all the job you know it's the one that's doing all the job And then because this tutorial when i said in the beginning eh, i said i'm making a lady do type type tutorial it's just that the ish, this band cam that i'm using guys the recording software is making me angry then what i did now i added uh this crash this is how it sounds like Then what i did next is like i got the log drum and i'm going to break down the log drum now i want to break it so perfectly so that people understand what i did with the log drum so number one I i'm even gonna retweet it again let me retweet this log drum because i had uh someone complaining saying uh because a lot of people have been asking me where can i get the mass use log drum don't worry i'm going to show you how i created it ne? but but if i show you you have to like this video <laughs> like this video and comment and said okay i got it now so what i did with this log drum the first thing is always get to 125 the volume is always 125 126 then you send it to a mixer you make sure that in the mixer you got this going on this fruity desk this fruity fast desk if this thing is not on look how this log drum is going to sound it doesn't sound hard right now listen it sounds hard now you check now now it sounds hard now it sounds hard then you go to the mixer as well you put this fruity soft clipper you put it as number one in solo one then you are done without it sound like this doesn't sound good it's going to over there is okay let me explain why i put a fruity soft clipper because some of you might think like i just put it for fun do you see if i put the fruity clipper it's going to hit here around zero if you look at this meter it's going to hit around zero it will never pass zero you see if it's down here by zero it means the quality is good and it can be played in a it can be played in a club wherever you want to play it to sound good nah? so that's why i put this footage clipper the next step what you need to do now nah? now let's tweet the log drum let's tweet the log drum right so how i tweet my log drum is that i'm gonna come here nah? i'm going to increase this the reason i'm increasing this is so that when i hold it's you see it holds long and if i want to make it the whole short i'm going to put this down now listen but if i make it like this i increase here it's going to be long you, you see but i like it to be around 52 percent and then what i do next right i want to make this a bit like this as well yeah then what i do here i make sure it's 35 percent 35 36 normally around there then what i make sure is that my size here it's also below i drop it down because I want it to sound like it's heavy you see now it's sounding heavy oh. then what i do is i decrease this in it to 42 then the time as well i go to about six percent yes and then now my log drum is ready now let's go and see what i did with the log drum so i'm going to explain 
what I did with the log drum was simple. I copied the bass as usual. You know how I do with the log drum. No questions asked, man. You know I copy and then I paste. What I did, I copied and I paste. After I copied and I paste, I added. I added like I normally do. Like I always say, add notes to make it vibey and round. Now, this is what I have. And I'm going to break down the parts which are interesting. Okay, so let's play it. Alright, so this log drive is not sticking up to the end. So what I wanna do is increase it to stick to the end like this. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I did. Here, here what I did, it was normal things. Normal things here. Because my bass line was sounding thingy. What I did is I made I made this ba I made this note smaller as to go and pass here. You see, whenever you want to go back to you see this is my root note, ne? A, because I'm in the key of A. If I now go back to the key of A, what you need to do is always use any note. You see this note I used here, I think it's F. So as in F, you see this is F also. So what I did is I just go up in octave. You see? That's what I did. And then when I came back, when I came back, I just, you know, I just thought like, okay, let me go boom, boom, boom. So you have to be like creative, guys. A log drum, I cannot explain it to you that hard. Because it's not, it's, there, is no, there is no formula to making a log drum. The only formula it is, is to copy the bass and put. And then after that, the creativity is up to you now. It's up to you now to see what am I going to add, what am I going to do. Must I go low? But what you need to remember is that a log drum shouldn't just be a, uh, a, 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 a simple thing. You need to be like creative, guys. You need to go below. You see, I came up here. Then I, then I went down. You see, I'm still, in, I'm still using A. But I went down here. Now, you see, I'm up here with the same notes. But now it's just octave down. reason you can say okay this note why did you add this one i add this one because it's gonna pass f you see if i make a chord ne? if i make a try head do you see that c is in this chord so that's why i use c to put the i know i'm speaking music theory now and you don't understand you see now you see dum 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 you see this is what I normally hear when I listen to Lady Do's beats. I hear this a lot. See this, this, this. It's always there in 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 a song somewhere somehow. They always place it there. And then now, and then what I did now, I copied the same thing this side. This thing there, I copied it. I pasted it other side as I normally do. And then what I did was just add a bit of small things go up a bit texture guys this is what you need to do creativity guys i can't stress anymore guys that's what you do there you know like you gotta be creative so that's how i made this beat you know nothing difficult i was making this tutorial but you know my so my recording software is, is is making mistakes so i added a fm bass and this fm bass i didn't even add volume i added nothing but let's just add a bit of volume maybe 105 and then yeah let's see how it sounds out guys